Thank you. Aarti is going to be reading for us for our animals across the world who are right now in a very difficult place because of COVID. And she's been very, very kind to connect with us. And I think today is a tip number 13 or 14, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Go ahead. 14. Actually. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, so I was actually sitting and thinking, what should I share? What should I share today? Because I've already discussed a lot about food. But then I thought something which we need to know is about the herbs. How are these herbs very helpful for our pets? But again, I want to put a disclaimer over here, not to just pick up anything from the market and feed your pet. The pet systems are very different from humans. And in India, we have to be very careful because there's no level of, you know, checking whether the herbs are really organically grown or not. Just because there is a label, it's organic, does not mean it's organic. There's a lot of things that happen in India. So ideally, I would suggest to procure your, either if you know someone who's really taking something, uh, you know, growing something really organically or selling something very organically, where you are completely sure that your pet is going to be safe, then go for it. If you do not know some, so someone like this, then, then please get it from abroad. There they have a so certain rules and regulations. There are a lot of checks that they do, and then only they put it as organic and fit for pets and they sell it to you. If you want, I can share the links of the places from where I order, and you can definitely order from there. So first, discussing a little bit about the food. Certain we've already discussed the meat is, is an essential food for them. Being even a vegetarian or a vegan, you cannot make your pet a vegetarian or vegan. That's, that's humans can, but animals system is for meat. But in meat also, we have to play with the meats. We cannot just give them chicken or mutton. Sticking to one meat will cause allergies over a period of time. So we have to fluctuate between and keep shifting the meats. We're giving them chicken, then we're giving them organ meat, which is very, very nutrition for them. I'm going to talk about something called the feet of the chicken, which is the thing which we will feel it's yucky. But the feet of the chicken has the maximum protein, the maximum nutrients for them. So getting the, uh, the feet of the chicken, which is actually thrown out, if you see many people on the streets are feeding the raw chicken, the raw feet to the animals, to the dogs, because that has the maximum source of vitamins in, in, in the feet. And we actually discard it. Now raw feeding is one of the best form of feeding animals. But in India, again, we don't, we've seen the state of the chickens. They are really stressed out. They are maybe they are diseased. That's the reason we cook and we kill the bacteria and then we eat it. The same thing, we cannot pick up the raw immediately and give it to our pets. There has to be a certain way we feed raw to our pets, but actually ideally that's the best. You will get rid of allergies. You will get rid of all the health issues of theirs if we start actually feeding them raw. And one of the best companies in India which do raw feeding, which they have the high grade of raw for meat for uh, pets is barf. If you can afford it, it's very good that you can pick up from there and you can start feeding them raw. And another um, way you can do is you get dehydrated. There are these uh, pet, uh, you know, people who have come up with this business, uh, which they've created the passion into business and they're doing raw feeding, but they've dehydrated the meat in a certain condition. So those, they are raw, but they are dehydrated, but they are again very safe for your pets. So you can opt for that and that you have a lot of uh, meats that's available. There is a lot of um, different organs that is used, which is good for them. Again, there is one which I usually take, uh, pick up uh, stuffs for from Is Canine India. You can find them on Instagram. You will have the dehydrated feet, you will have the organ meat, you have goat, you have um, chicken, fish, rabbit, quail. These are the different meats the animal needs. In the wild, they're hunting and they're getting the meat. They are not cooking it. But because of the bacteria and everything that's there in, in, in the meat, we are actually cooking it and we are giving it to them. But you can very well give them raw, but get in touch with these people who are professional. So you know your, your animal is in safe hands. Don't just get the meat from the market and start feeding 
raw to your pet because even raw feeding has to be done in a particular manner with them the other thing is herbs when i'm talking about herbs spirulina which i've already spoken is very good again you have to see you're picking up organic you can directly get in touch with people who are professionally now doing it there are a lot of things available in india today if i go back what was 10 years back these things were not available for my first dog honey but for angel now i have been able to do a lot of things being in india because there are a lot of things uh, we have progressed a lot in the pet industry also so spirulina alpha alpha barley um moringa these are these are powders which we are using for ourselves but they are very good as gut powders for our animals you can start incorporating these but gradually incorporating these another tip that i want to share what i have used for my pets and has really worked wonderful for animals who have pains who are not able to walk and we cannot see our animals in pain obviously you need to look into why the pain has started but there are three oils which i am going to mention which is ayurvedic oils which used only for massaging your pets can actually strengthen their muscles as well as help them get rid of the pain one is narayani one is uh, pinda these all are available in art of living they are organic oils which can be used in your pets you have to just mix in equal proportion and just massage your pet and you will start seeing that there are changes in their pain management as well as their muscles getting stronger and the third one is krish krishbala i have these oils here i thought i'll remove and show it to you all this is the this is basically narayani is for pain so this definitely you can also use but for pets these are safe i have used been using this on my animals so these are my tips and i hope you'll use this and if there is anything you can put it in the group i can i will share the places from where i order the herbs from and where i ordered the food for my uh, raw food for my dogs and cats and you can then use it from order it from there at least you know what you're getting is the is the right thing thank you so much wonderful that was brilliant and uh, yeah do put the links because it's difficult for us to remember like that so brilliant thank you so much aarti for sharing that i'm going to my next speaker